So here's an HTML CSS example. We have a head tag, open and close. We have the body. Then we have implementing a structured workflow is tagged with H1. Then we have a P tag that identifies content, big paragraph. Another P tag that identifies the next piece of content. Then we finally have an unordered list. That's what UL means, is unordered list. And then we have the bulleted items in the unordered list. We can look at this very same content in DITA and we get concept ID because all topics have to be identified as concept, task, reference, and so on. Then we have a title which is similar to the H1 that we saw in, in HTML. We have a short description tag. In this case, there is nothing in the short description. And then we have the concept body. It's marked as con body. Same P tag now to identify a paragraph second p tag to identify another paragraph, same unordered list with the bulleted items. If you've got experience with HTML, reading DITA is actually pretty simple. So it's not tricky. There are certainly different tags in DITA as compared to HTML, but if you can read HTML, you can also very quickly learn to read DITA. Here's an example of that very same DITA code in a DITA tool, and it's showing us the tags. We see the concept tag, we see the title, we see the text within the tags, and so on. So this is using a tool to show us what the content looks like. We don't need a tool, though. We could write DITA in Notepad if we wanted. It's a little more difficult, but just like HTML, CSS, etc., we could write this in Notepad. Most of us are going to use a tool.